Yeah, welcome to another session of SAMS Economics Tutorials and in today's video we are going to look at how to calculate total cost, average fixed cost and uh, marginal cost. So the question has been given us complete the table below by calculating average fixed cost, total cost, average uh, variable cost, average total cost and uh, marginal cost that is MC. So the output has been given us total fixed cost has been given which which uh, stands at 60 and the total variable cost has been given so the first uh, part is to calculate total cost and we know that total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost so we are going to put it here total fixed cost plus total variable cost so we are going to sum this so we are going to sum this fixed cost plus variable cost since the output is zero and we do not have a variable cost so we are just going to take the value of total fixed cost which is 16. remember all values are in dollars so 60 dollars so for the second one we are going to add when output is one when the quantity produced is one unit we are going to have a total fixed cost of 60 US dollars plus the total variable cost of 30 dollars which gives us 90 dollars and the second after, uh, after producing the second unit that is after producing two units we are going to have a, a total cost of 60 plus 40 which gives us 100 that's 100 US dollars the firm produces three units of output. The total cost is 60 plus 45, which gives us 105 US dollars. So when the firm produces four units of output, we are going to have a total cost of 60 plus 55, which gives us 105 and 15 dollars when we add 60 plus 75 we are going to have 135 us dollars so that's our total cost when we, five units of output are produced so we look at the six, uh, six units so we look at this one when six units of output are produced what's the total cost so the total cost will be total variable cost plus total fixed cost which we are going to add 60 plus 120 which gives us 180 US dollars. So from here, we are going to look for average fixed cost. So average fixed cost is, is total fixed cost divided by, by the total quantity produced that is divided by output divided by output since no unit of output was produced so we are going to just leave a slash here so we come to the second when one unit of output is produced we are going to take 60 divided by 60 divided by 1 which gives us 60 so which gives us 60 uh, US dollar per unit so we go to the second one when uh, two units of output are produced we are going to have 60 divided by 2 which gives our average fixed cost as 30 US dollars 80 US dollars per unit so we look at the third one when three units of output are produced we are going to divide as 60 60 US dollars by 3 3 units of output which gives us 20 US dollars per unit output when 4 units of output are produced we are going to divide 60 by 4 so when we do this we are going to have 60 divided by 4 units which gives us 15 US dollars per unit output produced 
0.5 units of output are produced we are going to divide 60 by 5 which we are going to have 60 divided by 5 which gives us 12 US dollars per unit output produced and lastly when 6 units of output are produced we are going to divide the total fixed cost by the units produced which we are going to have uh, 60 divided by 6 which gives our average fixed cost as 10 that's a 10 dollars per unit produced we are going to do same for average variable cost and we know that variable cost changes as output changes so average variable cost is equal to total variable cost divided by output so for the first one since no unit of output was produced so we are just going to have empty space there so the second one when uh, one unit of output is produced total variable cost is 30 so we are going to divide 30 by 1 so which gives us 30 US dollars per unit and the second one when two units of output are produced we are going to have uh, 40 40 so the variable total variable cost when two units are produced is 40 so we divide by 2 which gives us 20 US dollars per unit and when three units of output are produced our total variable cost is 45 so when we are going to divide 45 by 3 15 US dollars per unit and when four units of output are produced the total variable cost is 55 so from here we are going to divide 55 55 by 4 which gives us 18.8 US dollars so that's the average uh, variable cost so the other one when uh, five units are produced and the total variable cost is 75 we are going to divide 75 by 5 which gives us 15 US dollars per unit when six units of output are produced the total variable cost is 120 so we are going to divide 120 by 6 20 US dollars per unit and we are going to also look at the average total cost and average total cost is equal to total cost divided by output so from the first uh, stage we see that no unit of output was produced while total cost was 60 so we just leave this one empty and when one unit of output is produced the total cost is 90 so we are going to divide 90 by 1 which gives us 90 that's 90 US dollars per unit and when two units of output are produced the total cost is 100 so we are going to divide 100 by 2 which gives us 50 US dollars per unit and also when three units of output are produced total cost is 105 US dollars so from here we divide 105 US dollars by 3 when three units of output are produced the total uh, cost is 105 US dollars so we are going to divide 105 US dollars by 3 which gives us 85 dollars per unit and when four units of output are produced the total cost is 115 US dollars so we are going to divide 115 by 4 which uh, gives us 28 point 
0.75 US dollars per unit. And when five units of output are produced, the total cost is 135. 135. So we're going to divide 135 by 5, which gives us 27 US dollars per unit. And lastly, when six units of output are produced, the total cost is 180. So we are going to divide 180 by 6, 80 US dollars per unit. And lastly, we are going to look at the marginal cost. We know that marginal cost is the extra cost incurred when extra units of output are produced. So the formula for calculating a uh, the formula for calculating marginal cost is change in total cost over change in quantity which is output. So here we are going to look for the increase or the extra cost as quantity changes. So the first one we are just going to leave it like that since, since no unit was produced. When one unit of output is produced that cost increases from 60 to 90 and the difference is 80. So we're going to have 30 divided by 1, that is the change in output. So when total cost increases from 60 to 90, quantity increases from 0 to 1, so that is the difference. And our marginal cost will be 30. For the second one, when output increases from 1 unit to 2 units, the total cost also increases from 90 to 100 and the difference is 10. So we are going to have 10 divided by 1. So our marginal cost is 10. And again, when uh, total cost increases from 100 to 105, Quantity also increases from 2 to 3 and the difference is 1. So we are going to have 5 over 1 which is 5. Our marginal cost is 5. And again when total cost increases from 105 to 115. Output also increases from 3 to 4. And the difference between 105 and and the difference between 115 and 105 is 10. So we're going to have 10 divided by 1 since quantity increases by 1. So our marginal cost will be 10. And again, when, uh, when total cost increases from 115 to 135, total quantity increases from Quantity increases from 4 to 5, that is a difference of 1. So we are going to have uh, 135 minus 115, which gives us 20. So we are going to divide by 1 since quantity changes by 1, and our marginal cost will be 20. And lastly, when total cost increases from 135 to 180. The difference is 45. So we're going to have 45. And the quantity changes by 1. So we're going to divide by 1, which gives our marginal cost to be 45. That's 45. So see you in our next video.